Let's go, let's go! Kinjas, salam alaikum, welcome back, Nihao, Dobrodoshi Nazar, finally, finally, uh, yes, an MHL gaming support here, video review, game review with the ROG5 using the Ipega PG9099. Let me just enable here the drive in while I'm just uh, doing the intro. This is right now ROG5 16GB RAM variant with the Ipega PG9099 gamepad, Bluetooth gamepad. I'm also using a USB HDMI hub. Uh, which can uh, obviously support HDMI output, uh, SD card output, charging output, and so many different things. And just I will leave all the buying links in the description. This is an amazing gaming setup right now uh, on my 4K TV uh, in my living room. And just how much? I don't know how much this is inches. I even forgot to, how how many inches my TV has. Maybe maybe 50 inches, something like this. Nevertheless, uh, let's go. Let's go. We're gonna play it right now. I'll be testing different games, different games with the ROG5. Check this out, guys. Check this out. That is so beautiful. You can see the frame rate down there on the bottom. So smooth, bro. So smooth. 60 FPS at maximum graphics. next game now okay ninjas that trigger too uh, something very interesting I don't know why this game is limited here with the ROG 5 at uh, let me just show you right now at 60 FPS it doesn't want to go higher than that uh, let me just see here what do we have here regarding the just a minute check this out Okay, that's very weird. I don't know why I can't uh, run this game at 144 FPS. Maybe the new updated uh, update uh, removed this. I'm not sure, guys. Nevertheless, it runs uh, full speed here at 60 FPS here. Awesome. Okay, so let's go to the next game. Okay, we're gonna go to the next game, Relacing 3. And guys, I think I, not, I figured out why the games are limited at 60 FPS. The brightness down, so not the brightness down, the volume down. Why? Uh, because this TV which I'm having in the living room it's uh, limited at uh, 4K 60 FPS. Yes, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna move to my studio where I'm having the Xiaomi 144 FPS uh, high refresh rate screen. Uh, and I'm gonna test it with my gaming TV, uh, gaming studio monitor while this is in my uh, regular 4K uh, living room uh, TV which is limited at 60 FPS at 4K. So yeah, let's go then, uh, let's go then and play uh, these games, continue this gaming at, uh, with the Xiaomi uh, monitor. Stay tuned. Looks very beautiful here on this living room TV, doesn't it? Beautiful, seriously beautiful. Check this out. Awesome, let's go. Guys, uh, I'm back. I I figured out something. Uh, I don't know if it's a problem, uh, the software problem. But as soon as I connect, even I am even I'm right now connected with the uh, really the gaming uh, gaming 144 hertz uh, monitor in my studio. But still, the FPS and the uh, screen refresh rate is limited to 60 FPS while connected to the HDMI. Uh, I don't know, previously when I tested ROG3, ROG2, I didn't have this problem and I also remember with the OnePlus uh, 8 and what else I've been testing that had uh, Red Magic also, it had 144 FPS. Uh, any smartphone which I had MHL output, it was connected, so I don't know what's happening here uh, with the ROG5 uh, that maybe some software issue or something like this that is limited to 60 FPS here uh, when you connect it to the TV. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Nevertheless, I'm gonna still continue to do this gaming review. Uh, I'm gonna test right now, example, PUBG and Call of Duty because they have a 60 FPS max uh, frame rate. Echo Arc Survival Evolved. 
uh, right in, running right now let me just check it out by the way ninjas what you are seeing right now the bars on the right and on the left because i'm having here this is a super ultra wide monitor uh, which has a different aspect ratio than the uh, the smartphone itself we just have that in mind and in the living room you saw that uh, I'm, ha I'm having a standard aspect ratio with the tv so that's why it was uh, always in the full screen while here uh, the bars will be uh, on both sides Anyway, this Arx Valve Evolved running very smooth here, 30 FPS with the ROG 5 uh, on this uh, beautiful Xiaomi uh, gaming monitor. Beautiful. Let's go next. Okay, we're gonna test life after. Okay, here we go. Call of Duty uh, Mobile Edition at maximum graphics. Uh, like see myself here, it's running 60 FPS. Wow, man, that is awesome to play. Uh, so far, uh, on default, this game doesn't support uh, gamepad. Okay, I don't know why it blinked there, maybe I need to, because uh, my, probably my USB hub is very old, I'll need to replace it Ninjas, I think this my USB hub here, uh, I need to replace it guys, I'm already using it 3 years, so I'll have to buy myself a new one. Hey go guys, I'm here, I'm be playing. I'm gonna be playing here over the TV, over the, over the TV. Uh, let me just check it out, awesome <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's test life after with the ROG 5 connected to the TV. Woohoo! Okay, ninjas, this game is is just masterpiece. It's I don't know why people are just uh uh Genshin, 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 Genshin. This game is just absolutely gorgeous here, and it is a heavier game, it's a bigger game, it's a uh obviously more tough game, more tougher game to oh my god, did you saw that storm and with the lighting effect? That is crazy, man. That is crazy how many details this game has. Uh, yes, I can't say that it is the most beautiful Android game ever. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that it's the most demanding uh, Android game right now uh, on the market that you can get it. And probably you can notice... Let me just bring it here from the bottom. This, this minute. Let me bring it here. This is right now on movie mode. Movie mode, guys. And this game, it's running... It doesn't, it doesn't run here, man. It doesn't run full speed. It's right now... Let me just show you right now. It's crazy. This game is super heavy, man. Way, way heavier than the Genshin. Way, way, way heavier. At least around three times to four times heavier, more demanding than Genshin Impact itself. Crazy, bro. Seriously crazy. Beautiful. Anyway, uh, you have to... I, by the way, I tested this game with many different games. None of the smartphone can handle this game. At max graphics at full speed, none of it, none of it. What reflection? I also need enable. I need to enable that, bro. Let's go to Ultra HD. Ultra HD. We're gonna enable also still this also maximum. Okay, beautiful. Let's go out. It's an awesome game. It's an awesome game. Let's check it out. Changing the graphics. Yes. So now we can see myself the frame rate went from 35 to what 55 something like this. Still it doesn't run full speed even at Ultra HD ninjas. Check it out 50 FPS, 51, 60. At some areas we do have 60 FPS, but in different areas it's gonna drop to 50, 49, 48. Check this out guys. Why it drops here? Because this area right now, this direction, is a more more open world. More open world, and it has to render everything there uh, in front of me. And show me here from the map. Check it out the map, guys. You see what's up all above there? This is all area it needs to be rendered. Check it out. 
While here, this area behind my back, which you can see by yourself over here, it's not rendered. It's not rendered, guys. Let's check this out. Okay, the storm passed. Awesome. Anyway, let's go with the next game now. Amazing game to play on TV, bro. Seriously. Okay, and for the end, we're gonna test PUBG, the latest update with the ROG 5 connected to the TV, 4K TV. Let's go. Let's go. Can you just say we go? Arena mode here with the ROG 5. But we can see there the frame rate, 60 FPS. <laughs> anyway, that should be it, Ninjas. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day and see you till next time. ROG 5 full gaming review over the 4K TV. Masalamat.